to The Entrepreneur, where we're profiling the top entrepreneurs from the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. I'm your host, Otelli Edwards. DNA, the building blocks of life, the genetic material that determines your physical appearance, character traits and abilities. The 15 personalities that you will see this season all possess a common set of traits that we would like to call Entrepreneur DNA. They are hungry for success and have the strong determination to triumph in the face of adversity. Let's meet the people who have made a big difference in the business world. Award. Never one to drift along, Mr. Lawrence Lau was born an entrepreneur. Mr. Lau started as a corporate manager in the 1990s, working for reputed organizations in the Asian region. Well-traveled and well-versed with different cultures, he steadily built a portfolio of experience that included a five to six year stint in Hong Kong. Upon reaching the prime age of 30 years, Mr. Lau reflected on his past achievements and decided to reevaluate his goals, both in career and life. Should he remain cushioned in a stable corporate environment or push out on his own? In the end, it was the entrepreneur in him that spoke out. And so, Mr. Lau left his comfortable career in Hong Kong, returning back to Singapore to revive his grandfather's then ailing traditional Chinese medicine business. I was in my late 20s when I contemplated my career path for the next few decades. After having traveled the world with exposure in the different sorts of problems, working experience, crisis management, I asked myself at that prime age, was then or never? only get to live once and I was determined to deliver. Taking on the role of Chief Executive Officer at Feifa Medical Manufacturing in 1998, Mr. Lau immediately put into place a system of measures that saw the company grow from a small traditional shop into a structured and professionally managed enterprise that manufactures, markets and distributes its own range of healthcare, wellness and food brands as well as products. Setting an example is one thing, but setting an example to resolve any sorts of solutions, including solutions that are critical situations. And the more you are able to demonstrate those actions into results, the more capable you are to draw more talents and more committed people to your organization. Today, Feifa not only has its own factory and offices in Singapore, it owns assembly plants in Malaysia and Hong Kong, and its products are marketed all over the world. To make quantum leap in our business, we need to recruit many more talented pools of people to join our organization. We recognize that talent are hard to come by, and we are always competing with other entities to get this talent. The other option is to identify the potential in each individual within our organization. After that, we will train them and nurture them and hopefully become a powerful leader in our organization. Only then we can continue to make exponential growth. Born in Nuremberg, Germany as the fifth